right, here we are with uh, Willing Garden City manager Max Mitchell. Max, uh, mixed results for you over the weekend. Obviously, I'm sure you'd still like to get three points on Saturday, but not so lucky today. Yeah, um, I thought, you know, Saturday's performance uh, was a, a dogged performance. I thought first half we were, we were fairly poor. Um, and second half, we, we actually deserved uh, to, to win the game. We, we grinded it out. Um, there was a good 20 minute spell after we got the second where um, we threw our bodies on the line and we showed an abundant amount of commitment um, to get over the line, which let's be honest, you know, Siren Sester uh, away from home on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a slope of a pitch can be quite difficult. And we dealt with uh, a really direct threat uh, on, on Saturday, whereas today we, we, we kind of left ourselves a little bit short in terms of dealing with the uh, directness of the opponent. Um, we worked on things, a few things in, in training the Thursday before the Siren Sester game and we're starting to implement um, the non-negotiables and, and, and the foundations into the group. So, you know, mixed bag of results over the weekend. You know, if you'd have give me um, three points out of six on the bank holiday fixtures, you know, when I took the job initially and with the exodus of the players going out and, and the new group of players, I mean, our, our average age today, starting 11 was around 20. So um, we're, we're missing a few experienced players today. Uh, and that probably told in the first half. But if you were to give me three points out of six against Siren, Sester and Ware and, and the teams that are, are looking to compete, I would have probably bit your hand off at the start. Yeah, and, and you know, today you know, suffered a couple of injuries. I know you've had some injuries as well, and that doesn't help things for you as well, does it? Yeah, it, it's the luck of the draw. Um, you know, I, I'm not a manager, and I, I say this to the players, um, we, we're never going to um, use excuse after excuse. We are missing players. Um, we had no huts today, you know, Cyrus is coming back from a long-term injury. These are players that will make big impacts for us and, um, you know, recruitment's gone well, but have we got the st a strength in depth after the small window that, that, that we've had to, to get the players in? Probably not at the moment and, you know, playing against Ware today, very established team, they've been together, the, the nucleus core of a, you know, probably about, you know, seven or eight years and, and that showed today their experience around the referee, which, you know, in all honesty, at this level, it, it works, and we've got to be a little bit more cuter and work a little bit harder, uh, a little bit, a little bit smarter rather than harder at times. And um, you know, this is a young group, and we're, we're only going to get better. I think the second half today, you know, we, we was excellent. I think I can't, you know, I can, when, when we're like that, I can defend them. You know, I go back to the Kempston game, and you know, players sometimes can be undefendable when we put in a lackluster performance. But today, in the second half. Um, I thought we threw everything at them. Uh, we had two or three lads, you know, on their last legs from the from the two fixtures over the weekend. Um, but no, we, we was good. If we can, if we can start to look at, you know, I go back to the Hartford game, the first half, and then the second half against Siren Sister. If we can get that balance right uh, and put two halves together. Um, we'll be able to get a little bit more of a consistent result. Yeah, I mean that, that seemed to be the reaction from the guys in the stands. You know, that they were really you know positive about that second half performance. But give, given your links with Ware and given Tom's links with Ware as well, does a fixture like this mean a little bit more to you? To me, as a manager, uh, no. Um, we understand that the rivalry between the likes of Ware, uh, Wolverhampton, Hartford, it all comes into the mix. Um, the team talk does change to a degree, um, but for me, I have to look at it as a game. We, we can't let our emotions go too high, especially with a young group, because the non-negotiables, the basics tend, tend to start to, to fall away. Um, and coming off the back of a result on, on Saturday, we had to be positive. Uh, we had to have a lot of self-belief. We had to freshen it up today. You know, Ali and Jaya started on Saturday. He couldn't get here till 2.30, so hence why he was on the bench. Um, Gavin pulled up with a, a groin injury. Josh pulls up with a groin injury in the first 35. So, at the minute, we're 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 a little bit bare bones. Um, at certain stages in the season, I know it will get better. I know we'll start to not pick up as many knocks. We will have a few a few players back, and uh, we have to have a little bit of luck on our side. But at the same time, and I say to this young group, by working hard, you earn your right. You you, you, you sorry, you earn your earn your luck so we've just got to keep doing that we've got to be positive um, you know we've got a small break now um, Thursday Saturday no game Tuesday Thursday so it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to, to regroup a few additions I thought Joe Russell at times was excellent today he gives us a little bit of stability uh, and toughness and that's what we've missed at certain points 
uh, at, through the current start. So um, it gives us an opportunity to get the group together, uh, work on a few things in training, um, get some get some running in, um, get a little bit fitter, get a few players back from injury, and hopefully start to push on. That's it. Well, uh, good luck, mate, and I'll see you soon. Appreciate it. Cheers.